What's up, everybody? This is uh, JJ with MyBringBack.com. Going through, uh, actually going through domain name servers and actually combining those domain names that you, we've talked about in previous sessions with the hosting that you just purchased. So I'm going to keep it as uh, general as I can tonight so you can apply it in different formats, whether you, you, know, you buy your domain at oneinone.com or GoDaddy or any other domain purchasing places out there. I'm going to try to keep it uh, kind of generic, but then also show you some specifics on how to do it. Um, so if you're a little bit lost, go back, uh, check out the previous videos on domain names, where to register them, how to register them. Uh, the previous video to this one uh, is hosting. You know, what to look for in a good hosting company that's going to make it easy for you guys to start out, to launch a website, and uh, ultimately to get yourself out on the web. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to, as you can see, we're on the GoDaddy site because as I mentioned in previous videos, we've, we actually purchased our domain names through GoDaddy. And then we've got our hosting through Bluehost. So we have to tell those two to talk to each other because our domains are out in left field and then you've got the hosting out in right field so we gotta say let's meet in the middle at center field and let's get this guy out so what we're gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna run over to uh, domains here and uh, what we're looking for is the, the domain management because the hosting account that we have they have something called domain name servers and we have to tell our domains to shoot to their servers so then when people access our domain they can look at the files on the servers that we're on the hosting company that we're on so here's the domain management of GoDaddy you know one and one has a similar domain management you can go in you can set name servers that's the big keyword that you gotta remember name servers um, but first I'm gonna take you uh, over to our our hosting account with Bluehost and show you what to look for on your hosting site so Go over to uh, your hosting account, open it up, uh, go find where they actually put their name servers. So you can see ours are already put in here, my bring back, um, the bring back. We've already, we basically already shot them over. So as you can see, Bluehost has an easy domain manager. You can click there, go in, but uh, you know this is what it looks like. Over here, you click the name servers, and you can read a little bit about it. Name servers for a domain name or specialized servers that translate the domain name into an IP address that is understood by computers on the internet. Da 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 da. Basically left and right field, let's meet in the middle. So Bluehost gives us ns1.bluehost.com so there's one name server and then ns2.bluehost.com so basically if one fails the other one picks it up and your site stays on online. So we've got two name servers we gotta remember. So now flipping back over to where your domains are purchased if they aren't purchased together within the hosting company. And uh, domains, domain management, and then you can see we've got two domains. We've got the mybringback.com, we've got thebringback.com. And uh, you know it looks like they're going to expire. Don't worry, I'm going to purchase them. I'm going to repurchase those. But uh, you click the one that you want to send to Bluehost or your hosting company. And GoDaddy makes it pretty simple, you know, name servers right here. You can set your name servers. So we've got our site selected. And as you can see, I've already clicked. I have, I have a specific name server for my domain. And bam, right there we've got the name server onebluehostcom and name server 2 at bluehost.com from the Bluehosting account. So they give you a few other options. I want to park my domains. Let's say you buy a domain, you're not ready to launch your website yet. You can park a domain, you can monetize it so you're making money off of ads and stuff if people ever stumble upon your, your website. Um, you can forward your domain at this point as well. And basically what that means is, is uh, you, can have, you can have multiple domains. Um, so as you saw, we've also got thebringback.com. So when you go to thebringback.com, it actually forwards you on to mybringback.com. So if you own multiple uh, multiple domain names, it's a good way to generate uh, just back traffic into your site. Um, and then again, I have a hosting account with these domains. So another option out there. But since we're actually outside of GoDaddy and we don't have a hosting account through GoDaddy, we got to set our name servers. So after you do that, it's easy as that. They basically take care of it from that point on. 
Um, you can see there's a little bit of a time delay. Usually take about two hours. However, it may take up to 48 hours, and that's pretty standard. You see that you know whether you're on GoDaddy, whether you're on um, another one in one, any of those companies out there that uh, have domains. So now we're going to go back and uh, we're actually going to input our domain into our hosting account. And uh, Bluehost makes it pretty simple. You can see assign a domain to the to your cPanel account. Um, this is going to be the the way on Bluehost. If your if your hosting account, you know, they usually have some pretty simple guidelines. You can shoot in there. Um, assign a new domain or hook a, hook a new domain into your cPanel. Usually pretty simple to do that. If you can't figure it out, uh, you know, unfortunately you probably bought one of the cheaper hosting packages and, uh, you know, I hate to say it, I've, I've done the same. I've bought a cheap hosting package and it's just terrible. It's terribly hard to find anything to, to make it simple. So, again, uh, click, the, click a link, search it. Uh, your domain hosting account should have a help center look through that to make sure you can find it but after you've uh, figured out the domains assign those to your domain names then go in and basically you're you're saying Bluehost I own that domain put it in my cPanel account so I can start building files to put in you know within that so uh, assign domain put in your domain name again add on parks gives you a few options um, and then you can basically say, you know, do you want to use an existing directory or do you want to create a new? Typically, you want to create a new directory with that. And then uh, click Add Domain. And uh, like GoDaddy said, could take anywhere from two to forty-eight hours. So if you don't, if if you go to your, you know, domain name on your site and nothing's showing up, you're gonna have to wait a little bit for that transitional period. So keep that in mind um, when you're when you're assigning the the name servers and the hosting to the domain so that's pretty much it for this uh, tutorial series um, again you got any questions leave some comments for us we'll try to help you out with uh, any of your questions um, again stay away from kind of the cheaper hosting sites as uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult to to connect the left and the right field um, but uh, usually they have some pretty good helps if if you can't figure it out so Keywords to remember: name servers as you're uh, as you're looking for those, and uh, just putting those together. So, stay tuned. We're gonna go through uh, actually installing stuff in the next tutorials, putting a platform together, whether it's WordPress, uh, forums, this or that. We'll uh, we'll take care of you. So, um, subscribe, and uh, I look forward to uh, helping you out with the next one.